guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey Cat. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my first reaction to I Chew Halfway Through the Idol. Halfway to be in an idol? Yeah. Translation's still a little iffy for me, but this anime was actually pleasantly, I was pleasantly surprised. It just started Aaron and it currently has two episodes out, but because I am too cheap to pay for her country round subscription, I've only watched the first episode, so this is my first reaction to I Chew Halfway Through the Idol. This is a new series that I'm going to be starting on my channel. I do want to post these um, not on Saturday, but on a different day. So I'm going to try to post twice a week because I want to do anime videos on one day and then a Japanese culture video on another day, like my unboxing videos, because you guys really like those. And I want to do anime-specific videos, anime specific videos, such as my first reactions to anime and talking about animes that I am watching and just overall. So this series... <clears throat> Sorry guys. So this series I'm gonna be watching the first episode of a new anime and then I will tell you guys a little bit about it and a little bit of what my first reaction is and then I will watch the anime whether it be as the series progresses, as the ser episodes are aired, or I'll watch the entire series and then I will give you guys my final thoughts on it after I watch the series, see if my thoughts change, see if my opinion changes, how much I like it at the end. And so this first episode is going to be I Too Halfway Through the Idol, which is on my watch list. And guys, I was pleasantly surprised by it. And as you can see, I am cosplaying the main character because I thought it'd be fun. I could not find my black glasses, my black sunglasses. So I have my leopard sunglasses. And I do have a blonde wig, but I went with my purple one because I haven't worn it in a while. And I think it looks better with this outfit and the sunglasses. So yeah have the yellow and black tie, his yellow and purple, but I'm using my Hufflepuff tie, and I kind of have a bracelet. It's not matching to his, but hey, what can I do? So guys, let's just jump right into, <laughs> this is a really long intro, I'm so sorry. So let's just jump into, I shoot halfway through the idol. All right, so let's just jump into what this idol anime is about. So this idol anime, it's about the three main characters that you see in my thumbnail and on the main poster. They are called Fire of Fox. It's either Fire or Fox, and it's like in the Japanese accent, and it reminds me of the Pokemon Phoenix, and I just think that's really, really cute. So it's about these three main characters who are in school to be trained to be idols, so there's the kind of ultimately, mostly idol, and they're not debuted yet, and when you first see them, they're doing a street performance, and I just think that's really adorable. So the main character, he is like a Mitsuki, he's voiced by Ken, who has voiced so many idols and so many uh, so many characters and some of my favorite animates my hair skin in the way and i just love him because he voices tom key in idol of seven and i just i love it and then his character who reminds me of mitsuki and riku like a combined with the energy and everything is just amazing and then you have the um shorter guy who has a bunny with him and oh my gosh it reminds me of every bunny boy you see in the anime such as mom miji soma and Hiding some senpai, and it's just really, really cute. And then you have the taller guy whose name escapes me because he didn't have as much screen time and he wasn't as memorable as the other two. But those three are called Fire F Foxes. Fire. Yeah, so I'll pop up the names as I'm saying it because, guys, it's my first reaction. I don't know their names yet, but I will. And then so they're doing a street performance, and then cut to the school. They arrive at school and they're automatically starting to be filmed by the manager of the school. And the manager is filming because she is trying to advertise the school and I just think it's really funny. Um, they're really shy about it. They're really cute. And then we cut to her going to the different groups and guys, we meet some of the probably my favorite character design idols ever. So we start to meet the other groups and I'll pop them up. And one of my favorite groups besides the main ca main group, it's, oh my gosh, I can't remember his name, I'll pop it up here. And basically each member in the group is a different, um, or not origin, um, a different ethnicity. And I just love that because they're all voiced by Japanese, I Japanese voice actors. And you have one who's Chinese, you have one that's French, you have one that's, um, I think American, I can't remember. And they're all, and then you have, of course, one that's Japanese and just, I love that so much. I always love hearing Japanese voice actors voice different ethnicities. And I just think that's so cool because the accents, but they're speaking Japanese. They just do their introduction in their language. I just think that's perfect. And then you have a, the twins. There's always a pair of twins in idol anime, I think. 
there's either brothers or twins. I oh wait, there is always twins that you got Riku. So yeah, there's always twins. I don't know why, but there is. And they do remind me of the twins. I don't, I just realized my hand is up. Um, so they remind me of the twins from Assemble Stars because of their hairstyle. And I think they're really cute. They weren't as memorable as some of the other twins because they clearly can't remember their, remember their name. But they do remind me of the Hichacha. The Hichacha. Hichacha. <clears throat> the twins are more in High School Hus Club. Yeah, that's it. So they remind me of that because they do pull pr a prank in a prank or two in the episode, and I just think that's really really funny. But so those are our groups. I'll pop them up, and then of course they're all voiced by some of my favorite voice actors in the world. <laughs> so I can't wait to learn more about them. And probably one of my favorite boys from another group is this black haired boy. He's so cute. He's like, I want plans. I'm just like, he's like, I don't like being around girls. Oh my god, he's adorable. Um, he reminds me of. He reminds me of a few different idols from different anime. He's just like adorable and he's just sitting there at the table like, I want to go somewhere. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh baby boy, I, I feel you, I feel you. If you follow me on Snapchat, I'm like, my mom has plans, my brother has plans. I do not have plans. So I relate to this baby boy so, 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 so much. I feel like I'm going to relate to him the most. Okay, so after we meet all the other characters, I think that's going to be our entire main characters. I don't know, but then we jump to the principal. Okay, guys. So we're like at open end ceremony, open end orientation. And guys, I love the principal so much. I love this character. He's a bear. He is a bear. Oh my gosh. His entrance before he even before he even shows up on screen, you can hear the music, you can hear this chatter, and then you're like, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's shining. Oh, please, please, please tell me it's shining from Ultra Play. If you guys have seen Yuta no Prince, some of you will know what I'm talking about. I'm like, oh wait, and then he shows up, and I'm like, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. Because I love the headmaster from Ultra Play. Every time you pop them on the screen, I'm like, oh my gosh, I, if I could show up like that, like, show behind a curtain or just, pop up out of nowhere oh i should do that i should do that i should do that in my videos just like you'll see this and then all of a sudden i'll be like or i'll have a green my green screen cloak oh my gosh that would be just funny i think that'd be great and no no i can't be as slick as him can't do it but the bear he's a little bear and i just like oh my gosh that is just great i love it but so so many new favorite characters but Let's jump into what the show is. Let's just move on. So we meet our idols. We meet this bear principal who I'm like, oh my gosh, I love it. I don't know if it's a person in a bear suit or it's an actual bear, but either way, he looks so funny and I absolutely adore him. He's, he's probably gonna be one of my favorite um, characters in this anime. But so we meet every character that is gonna be a main person or main bear in this. And then we jump into what basically what the concept is. And these are all non-debuted idols. They haven't debuted yet. They are all fledglings and idols. And then we find the big conflict that is, I think gonna be the main plot or it's just for the cliffhanger. I am not sure. But, <clears throat> so the principal tells them they have homework. So it's not just your basic homework. You don't, they don't have to write an essay. They don't have to do a small project. They don't have to read a chapter or two. No, they have to make and sell 3,000 CDs each group. And if they don't, or it's in, I think it's three months. It's either three day, three weeks or three months, I'll pop it up. They have to make and sell, record, make, sell 3,000 CDs in that time period, or they're, ex they're expelled. Could you imagine in school, if you don't do this homework, you will be expelled from the school. Oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine. That would just be, that's a concept, guys. So they're all really, really scared. They're really nervous about this. And I'm like, oh, I don't, there's birds outside my window. I'm like, what is that noise? So they are told that if they don't sell 3,000 CDs, they will be expelled. And they're all worried because they're not, they've never debuted before. They've never, they've only recorded one CD to get into the school. And so our three main characters, the Fire Foxes, Fire, I'm gonna learn that name, I swear. 
and they're all scared. They're at this little stage thing that kind of reminds me of um, the scene with Nagi and Andrew Seven. They're all kind of worried. But, so, they're talking, they're singing. I meant not singing. They're talking, they're scared. They're a little nervous. We learn more about them. And we learn that the tall guy and the small guy are both child, or not child, but they've been famous before. And then, so, they start singing. And they're scared because they don't think they could do it. So they start singing in the middle of this. And I can't play the music or show it because of copyright. But I'll show something of it. And then when they stop singing, you can I mean, as they're singing. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so excited about this. There's colors. And this reminds me of Ultiply so much. Because in Ultiply, when they sing, you see these effects going around. And you see bright colors that represent each of the boys and it's like oh my gosh so talk about um that they're happy that their colors are being shown and it just makes my mic so fucked in. um and then once they finish there's all these people and they start clapping and the little girl's like i really like that song and the mom's like that song was really good so it is pretty much there that they're pumped they think they can do it now that they've got encouragement and i am falling um yep now you stand in apparently. So that's the end of the episode. It just closes right there. And that's the episode one, pretty much recap. And what was my first reaction? Well, you can see how excited I am. I adored this first episode. It was so good. We got a good introduction to the characters. I mean, one specific character had probably the best introduction ever, besides Shinin. So that told me. So am I gonna watch this? Oh, heck to the yeah. I adore it it was so good there's so many good voice actors the character designs are really good but one thing that i will worry about is because there's such a large group of characters such as the idols i'm worried about them each getting enough screen time because when you have a big group of characters like this and in simple stars like right there's like 20 boys and i'm worried that not each character is going to get enough development and such like that so i'm worried about that but i am going to watch it and i will you know what you think and if you want to see my daily episode update or weekly episode updates on these follow me on instagram i will be posting stories what i think of each episode as i watch it so anyways guys that was my first reaction to i hi chu i chu i don't know how they pronounce it halfway through the idol let me know down in the comments below what anime would you like me to do a first reaction to and let me know down in the comments below what anime are you guys watching right now Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Let's see if we can get this video up to 10 likes. And if you're not already subscribed, just subscribe to my channel for more fun anime culture Japanese content. I realize I messed that up very badly. But I will see you all next video. Sign